Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain how to create record templates in Zoho Creator. By default, when you click on uh, record, it displays the record just like this, right? So uh, if you click on an invoice form, you know, invoice record, it displays the line item like this, the total invoice number, the customer name, everything like this. So uh, if you are, if you are looking for some uh, fancy uh, templates here, we can do that. So Zoho Creator has uh, at least two ways uh, for you to you know build record summaries. So uh, the very first way uh, to do that is to you know through record summaries. So you can uh, search for record summary in Zoho Creator. So when you do that, so they will display. They have a help, you know very detailed help document that explains. How to create an invoice you know template like this right you see this this is built on record summary so we can we can create one uh, we can create one template just like uh, how they have done right here all right for that uh, we first need to edit this report click on edit this application on the left side you have a menu called record summary click on it click on record summary you can give a title so I can give it as invoice summary right, so it can be uh, one column or two column or three columns so uh, you can always start with one column because uh, within uh, that one column you can again uh, you know create sections with one two or three columns so it's always a better practice to start with one column so right here you can create a section so that can be like two columns uh, or or this can be like just one column for now and uh, so we can give a header you know so I can drop a header something like uh, invoice and if we want to include an invoice field I can just drag and drop this oops I can just click on invoice I can click on this insert field the invoice number okay and I can center line the whole text is that okay something like this All right so uh, if you want to uh, include the customer's name and address so you can do that um, right from here so uh, something like bill to right and then the customer's name right from here so uh, so this is what it is so you create uh, the invoice number and the customer name so now we want to display the line items for that what we can do is we can create another section this can be again one column layout All right so we can delete this default uh, thing or just keep it here drag and drop the line item here so uh, if you have noticed in my previous video I had explained uh, how to work with sub forms so this line item is a sub form and we are going to display all the values from there all right so uh, before we get into you know displaying all the values let's just say how this looks like and I can also display the total you can drag and drop another section probably delete this one uh, put the total right here so something like this okay let's just save it and if I right click and access the application you will see the invoice template all right so it says invoice number one bill to uh, this customer name ARPRC and uh, line items the total all right so now we need to uh, we have two issues here the total should go on the right side and we want to display these records 
for example this item name description quantity price and total right so we can actually give some description so let's see so something like this let me just uh, give a description all right so if i click on it it should display them here so what i do i go back to this uh, edit page here if i click on related field properties i can choose what are the fields i want to display from the sub form i can uncheck the id which has uh, which makes no sense in this case so i'll display item name description quantity price and this will be line total all right so uh, if you want to color anything you can also do that from here let me just click OK. So uh, this has something like this. Now we have we can do other formatting as well. So this says line items, and uh, label is at left. You can just click on it. You can put it like label at top. So line items is the label. These are fields. If you want to like uh, remove the label, you can choose without label, which you are going to right now so now uh, if you notice uh, this one goes you know right here so we can probably edit this one as well so we can I mean we can include a style like um, okay something like float right so that's a CSS style so that that normally you know puts the you know, values to the puts the div containers to the right side so here I can also for the uh, you know, value the total amount I can also do a text type in align to right so the text will be right aligned so something like this All right, let's see how this looks like I click on save uh, I think I can just click on it yeah okay now it displays item name description quantity price and total but this still has a problem so it, this does not align here this total so what we can do is we can just remove this right all together and we can have it as one column and drag and drop the total label at left and here we can uh, format value to be right aligned and the format label to be right aligned I think uh, this should be okay yeah this is total and it has something like this it's really hard to you know uh, make it um, you know, in line with this one because this has like one two three four columns five columns so you want to like take this for four columns and then this for one column it's really hard to do it on this page but this is like the basic uh, invoice page that you can do in Zoho Creator in my future tutorials I will show you how to create like advanced uh, uh, you know invoice templates using HTML pages right thanks for watching